Hi, Jamie here from Poodle Press. Hope you're well. Um, here's a quick demo on how to have a static back image with moving text on top of it. So I saw this actually on a customer website the other day and thought it looked really cool. So I thought it'd be fun to do a tutorial. So you can see on the screen that we're looking at here, we've got one, one image, but can you see how the text is changing? And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a really nice subtle effect and it'll only take you a few minutes. Okay, right, the first step to get this working is to create um, your sliders, and that's gonna be the text that's coming in. So uh, I'm using Poodle Slider for this, so all I'm gonna do is hover over the plus new at the top here. Let me just reload this, hover over the top new, at uh, the top the plus new, and click Poodle Slider. So this is just standard Poodle Slider here, and all I'm gonna do is add a new row, and I'm just gonna change this text here to put uh, my text in. And the other thing you might want to do is just pop a button in here, so I'm just gonna, um, with great pace, <laughs> just pop a but, uh, button in here and I'm just gonna change the background color to transparent just so it looks a bit nicer, there we go. And then I'm gonna add my second one, like so. And again, I'm just gonna use, copy and paste that text in. Um, and I'll just change this so we can see it's different. Like so, and again, I'm gonna drag a button in here, like so. And I'll just put read more on this one just so it's clear that this is a different button. And again, I'm just going to change the background color. Okay, so I've just created two new sliders. Now I could go off and create more, but the important thing is I'm not putting backgrounds on these. So these are just text. And then I'm going to publish these. And I'm just going to give them a name of French slider. Okay, so I've created my sliders. There's, there's the preview of it. And I could obviously take more time over that. And then I'm going to insert this into my page. So I'm going to click, uh, click add new page here. And all I'm going to do uh, for this is I'm going to add, um, in fact, let's do it this way. I'm going to add a new row with one column, that's all. And then I'm going to style the background. So I'm just going to choose an image here and I'm just going to find an image on unsplash.com, which is a free photo library that we've integrated Poodle Page Builder into. Um, and I'm going to try and find my photo. I think that's the one. Okay, and I'm just going to make the layout full width and I'm actually going to make this full height just so it's super clear that what we're doing here there's my photo I'm going to delete that top row just so it tidy up a bit and then all I have to do really is add that slider in here so I'm going to add the slider and I'm going to choose that that slider that I just imported and you'll see my slider will come in and I'm going to get rid of that text and then if you want to position this you can do all the normal great stuff like so and there you go there's my text coming into that um, with the back static background row with the moving text on top of it so it's a really cool simple effect um once you're once you're happy with that just click publish at the top here and uh, you're off and running so i hope you enjoyed that one uh, that's how to create moving text on a static background image